Hey guys, Brita here, welcome back to No Man's Land, here we are for episode number 21. So this episode, we've managed to get um, a few things delivered overnight. We got our little Tiger Cat 822C ready to start to cut through this forestry here. We've got a truck and a, an auto loading log trailer as well, so both of these guys are going to come in handy today. But first thing we need to do is, also we were told at the same time that the sawmill's been built. So we need to head down to where the sawmill is, it's just been put in and push in a bit of a road and, and um, a bit of an area for the sawmill around it. I did get told that they cleared a little bit of the snow um, and pushed in, well, leveled it out a little bit themselves and put the sawmill down, but we need to go down there with a the dozer and sort of just to push in a bit of a road and stuff and see if we can't help a little bit. I think that's going to mean we're going to have to buy the land as well, so head on over the hill here. See the sawmill? Yeah, sawmill's been put in just here, so I think we're going to have to buy the land for us to be able to push in a road to it and to start to work around the sawmill. So it's going to be a little bit more of a hit to our pocket, but in the long run it should be okay. But it's definitely been installed, which is awesome. Goes, jump on out, jump into our dozer. Turn our lights on. Slow the blade down. Have we done it? Soil is frozen, you can't work it. Well, that's interesting. That's one thing we didn't think of, did we? One of the. Um, they told us to come down and work on pushing this in, so I guess we're going to have to wait. Minus 8 degrees temperature, so it's pretty bloody cold at the moment. Definitely um, too cold for us to be working it, so we're going to have to leave this here. It's a little sawmill, not an overly big sawmill, but big enough. They did say they leveled the area out around the sawmill pretty well. Cleared all the snow and put it in, so that, that's good to see. Well, I guess we'll head back um, and jump in. Jump into our um, newly acquired digger, or digger, I should say, uh, logging machine, our 822C Tiger Cat. Start to cut down some of these trees. Also, head down this new road that we've pushed in around our farm. Wait till next year, I think we push that in. I didn't even even consider that the ground would be too hard for us to push in with a dozer but I guess even with a dozer once the ground's frozen you know, the ground's frozen there's not much you can do about it I'm hoping it's not going to take too long into the new year for us to be able to start to work our fields see the money that we made from our BJ episode last episode is um a lot of it's gone we've spent a lot of it already so What I want to do as well is check on our cows. 12 and 13 cows, or pigs I should say, wow. They have certainly, certainly had some babies. That is pretty interesting. All right, we'll park this thing up. We'll have a bit more of a look at that. Really didn't expect them to be that many. There's 12 in here, so there's three. Seven babies in there, and what, eight babies in here? Eight babies. We've got a couple of males, which is good. They're all newborns. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, there's a few more that's going to... There's another baby due here. Another four. So that one pig has had eight. I think that here, what this one pig has had seven. They're all females. That's really interesting. We need to get some straw in there, though. Um, that's one thing we need to get done this episode, so we can't forget about that. Um, we won't do it right now, but we will get it done. Right, let's jump into our tiger cat. Um, Alright, let's go. Oop, like this. Bring up our cut length. We want a cut length of 6 metres. 
Crap, we want to head. But I didn't know what was on the ground there for a second, but it was... It's our um, cutter head. Got a few things we need to move out of the lane too. So I want to come in from this side, so we might have to jump out quickly and move if these things, just drag them out of the way. I'll go over there, grab our baler and roll this thing out of the way. Go there for now. Jump back in. We can get started on cutting down these trees. I haven't picked an exact location for our house yet, but Oop, need to get rid of that as well. Might get these guys cut to six meter lengths. I'm not going to throw them straight into the wood chipper because I think we're going to get more money out of them if we actually sell them as whole logs. Just make a little bit of a pile, close enough to be in a pile of them. To make it easier for us to come back through and pick them up. So I, do, I don't mind the forestry side of things, especially using this FDR equipment. It makes the forestry side of things so much better. The in-game, the, the base in-game stuff isn't that great to use as far as forestry goes so certainly having this FDR modded stuff like the dozer and the digger the diggers and the I guess the forestry stuff I think you can use these as diggers I don't know why I keep calling them diggers but yeah having these things be able to use through FDR logging just makes a massive difference it really does it makes it much more enjoyable to actually do forestry stuff Sorry guys, had a bit of a sneeze and fit coming on. I've still got this hay fever stuff going on. It's driving me crazy. What's going on here? Am I getting stuck on? Getting stuck on something. Why won't you let me cut that tree? That's interesting. Let's go to a different tree then. I don't have to get out and cut it by hand, but that's weird that it won't let me actually cut this tree. Dude, I own all this land, so. And it's there to cut. Okay, let's go to a completely different one. That one will cut, so why won't that one cut? Getting it caught up in other trees. One of the other hard things is trying not to get trees caught up in other trees when you're cutting them down. See if I can get this one. This is another decent size one. Yep, we can cut that one. I don't know why it won't let us cut the other one. I guess we'll have to find out. I have to cut it by hand, unfortunately. It's actually a nice big tree, this one, so that's going to bring in a decent amount of money for us, hopefully. Keep heading. Uh, I don't want to cut down too many more that direction. Let's head this way. Still haven't had 
great deal of a look at exactly where I want to put this house, but I know it's going to be up in here somewhere. Can't actually come through with a dozer and push in where we want it to be because the ground's frozen. We certainly want the majority of these trees taken down, so let's see if we can get this one taken out now. Okay, um, Okay, no, only wants to let me cut it up that high. Fine, that'll do. We'll still come through with a stump grinder and get rid of it. That's why I opted for that extra attachment on the front. As you guys can already see, the stump grinder attachment just makes it so much easier to cut. All the stumps. Get rid of them all. Should be able to just drive straight at this if I'm... Yeah, and just get rid of it. Okay, cut that one down. Start to make another pile over here. Still apologise if I'm still really sniffly. It's still this hay fever stuff is so bloody annoying. It's just like every morning I wake up like this. Um, I don't know what it is. I guess it's you know coming up to winter for us here in Australia, so it's. That time of the year for the flu virus and stuff, if the corona is not bad enough, the flu virus is going to hit us pretty hard too, I think. But, um, yeah, it's usually when my nose sort of gets set off, changing seasons and that sort of stuff. Alright. I don't really care about making too big a pile all the time. You know, just Putting a few trees together just makes it a bit easier to come through with that truck and pick them up. Especially where the logs don't roll all the way down the hill. It's a beautiful, picturesque location we're in. It's a beautiful lake right in front of us. Start with another pile here. I think we're going to have to have a bit of a look where we actually want to put a house. So we have to come back through with a dozer and level all the area out, but it's going to take a little bit of time before we get to that point. So let's go start landscaping. I think our house... I sort of wanted it in here somewhere, so... Maybe we can probably paint a little bit. So let's you know, clear all the way around here. Where are we? It's hard to see where we're actually finished painting. There we go. All around through here. I think that'll be fine. Down through to here. Don't want to take out too many of these trees because we still want a little bit of coverage behind us. Yep, that's pretty much where we're going. So from there. Um, let's take all these trees out. And all these on the front there. That'll do gives us an area to work in. So hopefully we can get that done. All of it cut down this episode, but not sure how we're going to go. Try our best, I suppose. Halfway through, and I'm not even halfway through cutting them all down, so I doubt we'll get it all done this episode. I might have to do a little bit off camera just to get it finished. I want to try and at least sell a load of logs this episode with you guys here so we can see how much we're going to make. So maybe cut for another five minutes or so and then give ourselves a little bit of time to get some more of this stuff taken care of. So obviously the leasing cost of this stuff is quite, quite high. Um, but we should make it back in in log sales anyway so 
it's not going to matter too much. Let's try this one on this pile as well. So I like to have really nice piles, but it makes it hard to make them nice and neat. I think this thing can cut up to 24 meters, maybe. So you, can, if you want to just take the whole tree in one go, you can if you want to. But I prefer not to. Um, auto loading trailer as well. Um, takes them in six meter lengths. The one that I'm using. There are other ones that don't take them six meter lengths. They just take them as whatever, whatever size you cut them as. The one that I use, the one that I like, is the one that does them in six meter lengths. Let's take a little while longer to get the tree fully processed like this, cutting a 6 meter length, but nah, I'm not that worried about it. Oh, there we go. Can we just tree from here? Can get rid of that stump at the same time. That's a bonus. I need a little tree, but it all adds up. So we're going to have to come through with a dozer and level this whole area out. Get a good foundation for our house, which is going to take a little while. I think we're going to get our old, our old house demolished, the one that we've got, that we're staying in at the moment. We'll get that demolished. We can use that room for something else, some storage or something. In some more sheds down there or a workshop or something. Eventually I'd like to get rid of all the old buildings I've got here and just upgrade everything but it's all going to take a little bit of time I guess. This is going to take a while too to get all this cleared out. There's a stump there. I've leave that there for now. Make another pile. That's typical. Drop it straight on top of that stump. Might have to move them out of the way or not try and cut that stump. That stump grinder until we actually remove the trees. Otherwise it will, you can cut the logs with the stump grinder and it'll get rid of the log completely so Try and avoid that if you want to make money. Uh, this way. Make another little pile here. Might get a few more trees done and then we're going to have to head on down and grab our truck, I think. I think I might do the rest of it as a bit of a time lapse series for our next episode. Time lapse us cutting the rest of these trees down and selling them and that sort of stuff. I think at this point in time we're still going to continue with an episode a day of No Man's Land. The time may come though where I need to reduce that to one every couple of days I think. Maybe like three a week. Just depends on how busy things get. Things are starting to get pretty busy for me at the moment so um, I think I'm going to have to reduce reduce it a little bit but we'll, I guess we'll wait and see. I don't want to make any decisions just yet see how I can continue to manage with the, the content I'm pumping out at the moment. I'm trying to put out a fair bit um, while I've got a lot of extra time and I guess the current crisis we're in um, with the coronavirus of course it's certainly helping content creators um, as bad as it is it's helping us because everyone's at home and they're bored and what do they do they get on YouTube and watch people like me Play games like this, which is good for me. Right, let's line this tree up. I want to grab a hold of it. I want to grab. Yep. Grab a hold of it. Not too hard. Not too soft. Just right. Like that. There we go. Let's grab a screenshot. Uh, 
us up with like that. Jump back in, we can cut it down now. Then it will give me somewhere to go and sort of hide. Not hide as much, but get this thing out of the way so we can bring the truck through without too many things in its way. Let's go on, let's go on the other side of the tree. No, it's not. Okay, let's uh, get this stump grinded and then um, come through with the truck and pick up as much as we can. Right, so we'll park this guy over here out of the way. Beautiful. Love doing this sort of stuff during the snow time. During winter, it's really cool. So still a heap of trees, as you can see. We're eventually going to push our road in through here. I think eventually that shed will go. It'll probably go pretty soon, I think, that shed. One of the first buildings we sort of get rid of. So if we bring this up, we can switch between pile 1 and 2, using a numpad. Like the dot and our numpad. Um, AL change number of piles. Max is 6 metres, um, switch auto load to right. So now, if we stop here, press B to auto load. Once they're all loaded on, press B again to stop loading. Throw to on our strap, move to auto load left. I never leave auto load on while I'm moving the truck because it does destroy the logs absolutely everywhere. That's one thing I can suggest to you guys. Don't move the truck while you're auto-loading the logs. Oh, there we go. Um, auto-load to right. Come over and get these ones. Uh, try not to run over too many logs. Destroy the truck or the trailer. We're only leasing it. And then once the front one's full, we'll automatically change um, to the back back spot which is pretty cool. Oops, that's that was me throwing it at the same time as I grabbed it. You can see it went to throw it onto the back, not the front. That should hopefully don't run it through the water, there we go, go B. Now uh, the auto loaded to the back. Even the up the top left where you can see the trailer, if you, when you press B it actually comes up with the yellow, like as if it's it's on, which is a great thing as well. So you can actually remember when it's on and when it's not on. And you know you need to change it. I think we're going to get maybe more than one full truckload out of all these logs. So turn that off again, strap them down before we move too far. Pull aside these ones. I think that's gonna mean we're full. Yep, yeah, we're full. Alright, there we go. Let's um I think we should probably probably can just slide out of here somewhere. It's quite steep, but we've got a nice strong truck underneath us, so it should be strong enough to get through there. Head down to our sawmill. Take it nice and steady with all this snow around. Not actually having a road pushed into the sawmill is another thing. Alright, so move inside this cell point here. I know it's frozen, I can't work on it. I'm not trying to work on it. I'm driving a bloody truck. Do that, come in here and press R. Should sell 72,000. What's that? That's pretty much 80,000 just for one load. That is pretty good. We're certainly going to make a decent amount of money out of this little area we're clearing for our house. Enough to build our house, um, potentially. Did pay a lot of our load back, so we could possibly build our house. 
once the ground decides to not be frozen anymore, come through and build a house. Uh, auto load left we'll go with. That way we can duck through here, pick up these other piles. Uh, which one are we on? Pile one. Run alongside, make sure we stop. Only a couple of piles that we haven't picked up yet. Once again, turn it off, strap it on. Here, turn it off, strap it on. There we go, and I think that's all the piles there, isn't it? Yeah, so let's head back out again. Take this lot down and sell it. And, um, I'll get the rest cleared as a time lapse for next episode. So this is only going to be a short, uh, less than half an hour episode, but... You guys probably don't want to stick around too much and watch me do too much of this. The camera's not overly exciting, but I certainly want to try and show you guys as much as I can, as I've said in a lot of the other episodes. Don't want to hide too much from you guys. I want to do most on camera or through time lapse, but... I think the next episode, as I said, cut down some more trees, time lapse, and uh, then hopefully we can start to prepare our fields for the new year when it turns into the new year I guess so sell these guys for the 27,000 so it's taken us up quite away with sales that's really good have a quick look and see how much we actually made from wood sales 106,000 107,000 pretty much so that's good still plenty more to clear so right here guys we'll end the episode here if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. If you guys have got any suggestions or anything like that, as I always say, leave it in the comments section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been great. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.